and the roof. There are even some hidden extras that might be hard to put a finger on. St Kevin's in Queen Street, Wallara, one of Sydney's most exclusive and expensive addresses. But it's a house with a reputation almost as terrifying as its price tag. A reputation that this night has brought a call from Leonora Jackson, parapsychologist, medium and ghostbuster. Good evening, Leonora. Come in. Thank you very much. She's here to check out reports that Mr Keating's $2.2 million investment is haunted. One of the guests has seen uh, uh, a ghostly figure walking towards the dining room, described as a, as a male wearing a, a frock coat and a large black hat. It's said to be the ghost of Kevin Collins, a son of the original owner, seen here outside St Kevin's in his horse-drawn buggy. Within minutes of entering, Leonora has smoked him out. The main presence that I felt um, was upstairs, around near the linen cupboard, and that was actually quite strong. And there seems to be, um, how do I put this? There seems to be panic in that area, like there seemed to have been some accident or other happening there. And on the ground floor, I had a very distinct impression of a man who wore a flat brimmed hat. But it seems St Kevin's has more ghosts than you can poke a stick of incense at. Leonora found at least 10 of what she calls residual emotions floating around. Yes, there's quite a lot. It feels to me like there are a lot of children up on the second floor upstairs. Yeah. I think there was some accident. It wasn't a very pleasant accident that involved children, two adult females, possibly a mother of the child, and a couple of other children as well, where one child apparently, in my feeling, was badly hurt. She says their spirits may be frightening, but they probably mean no harm. Besides, Mr Williams doesn't believe the Prime Minister is easily scared. No, not after uh, facing a parliament, I think, uh, day in and day out. I think he's faced uh, far worse bogeys than, than what he'd find here. A house needn't be old to boast a ghost. According to Leonora, any place built more than five years ago probably has a resident spook. Also, it appears St Kevin's and Mr Keating are made for each other. Numerologists say the PM's numbers are ones and nines. Good leadership stuff. His house number is also strong in ones and adds up to nine. Andrea John, 11 a.m. And from Houses with a Presence, we're joined by parapsychologist Leonora Jackson and also Simon Turnbull, who's the president of the Australian Psychics Association. Good morning to you both. Leonora, if I could start with you, do you actually see ghosts or do you feel them? How does it work? Uh, some people actually see them. Some people are just aware of them in some way. Some people will hear voices. And, and in this case, Keating's house, we've just seen some of the tape item. Mm. But, I mean, what did you feel? Did you know straight away when you walked in there that there was some presence? Yes, oh, yes, definitely. Definitely felt that. I also uh, saw something, like someone sees a dream. You don't actually see it in front of you. You sort of see it in your mind. So it's, it's not an image that other people could see if they were in that house with you? Um, I believe other people have seen this particular entity that we're talking about. But... Um, as, uh, from my point of view, I felt it rather than saw it, which is how I usually do see things. I see it in my mind. And if you were exercising this ghost, I mean, what sort of things might you do? And how well, successful can you be in that? Yes, I can be about um, 75 to 80 percent successful. I would prefer to say um, clearing a house rather than exorcising, because exorcising implies um, getting rid of something horrible. Whereas quite often it's just some lost or lonely or frightened memory that's still there and um, it needs a guide to get home or perhaps doesn't know that it needs to go home or something like that. And, and in this case, uh, a friendly ghost? Um, all ghosts are relatively friendly. Because so they're not dangerous? No. They're, they're, um, 
It's the people and how people react to them that can be dangerous. <laughs> Simon, if I can come to you, there are the sceptics and yourself have a long-running battle about no, all this sort of I'm stuff. I'm a closet sceptic, really. <laughs> <laughs> but there are people out there who are watching this and going, oh, come on, ghosts, you know, that's the stuff of Hollywood. Sure. Well, on a psych hotline, we get a lot of people ringing in about um, ghosts in their house, and a lot of it's got to do with the numbers in the house, too, because if they're in the house, that's the wrong energy, for example. Um, it can be a dissonance with their particular personality or chemistry or whatever, mm. their aura. Um, so that's really part of the story. They're so the, the wrong place to live in for their, for their energy. Is, well, is this, the right, is this the right place for Paul Keating? Well, for him, it's, it's ideal because he's, he's got two nines, which is wisdom, and four ones, which is... Uh, two, two nines, how? Just go oh, back right. to he's, sorry. The ninth, he's born in a nine day, um, comes to nine. He's born in a nine year. So that's two. The power, that's very powerful as far as wisdom. Um, uh, he's got four ones because he's born in January, and uh, he's got two hidden ones. Well, the, the hidden Paul Keating is actually very visible to us because the ones symbol uh, is a link in with the rest of his numbers. So he really is the person that he shows himself to be. So this is a good spot for him to live eventually. It's perfect. Yeah, because the seven, uh, which is will or power, uh, the, the power of will, and the two ones come to nine. So, so what do you say to those sceptics, Leonora, who say, oh, look, this is just all mumbo-jumbo? I have a very uh, interesting question to ask sceptics. If they know anything about physics, I would like to ask them why scientists quite often need to use double-blind experiments. And that's the only question that I would ask them at this stage. Very quickly, we've got to wind up. If I popped into the house, would I see or feel the ghost? I think you would sense something. I'm not sure if you would actually see something, but you would certainly feel something. All right, Leonora and Simon, we have to leave it there. Thanks for your company this morning. Thank, Thank you. you.